His opponent is a fighter representing the host nation of Uzbekistan, Abdul Malik Malakov. Ranked number 16, tournament number 16, ranked number 16 in the world. 22 year old from right here in Tashkent. The bye in the round of 64, so this is fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the championship bout here. He a short work of his semi final opponent, stopping him. This in elite men's bout will round. take place in the 54 57 kg featherweight division. Your five judges will be represented here tonight ringside from Bulgaria, Ireland, Malaysia, Australia, and Argentina. And with the action begins, your referee will charge the action by the bell, representing the IBA by way of Tunisia with referee Sakura. So that man in the second consecutive IBA World Championship final. Counted up at 60 kilograms in Belgrade in 2021. Mr. Umahal, who claimed the second of what will become three world titles because Umahal leads the hat trick of world medals. Boxers, keep your heads up, no holding and no low blows. Listen quality. to my commands. Check hands. Good luck. Good setup. Bulel of Tunisia is the referee. Those boxers return to their respective corners. They're about ready for the start of action. Away in the 57 kilogram featherweight division, the gold medal bout between boxers from the powerhouse IBA boxing nations of Cuba and Uzbekistan. The southpaw wearing red, Seidel Van Horta Rodriguez, just 21 years of age, in his first appearance at an IBA Senior World Boxing Championships. As recently as 2021, I've commentated on this man, and Kielta in opponent, where he was at the World Youth Championships, boxing his way through to a quarter-final finish, and now pointed. Rebel up Sabiero Kazakhstan in the semi final. The man wearing blue is in his second consecutive IBA Senior World Championship final. He's the reigning Asian Continental gold medalist at 57 kilograms, winning five contests out of five. Here he is at 57 kilograms. Gold medal appearances, gold medal bout appearance in 2021, up at 60 kilograms. Really effective punching and spinning off the line with Hawako. Operates with a very low held guard. He was tied by a right hand on the way in, but then had his own answer during the course of what became an exchange. The first round stoppage that he produced in the semi final damaged the nose. This teammate from Saibek Ulu from Kyrgyzstan. This teammate from Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan's first ever medal at a World Championship. And he comes away with the World Championship bronze of 50,000 US dollars. You see Horta Rodriguez well, picked off by a beautiful right hand and just dropping his hands contemptuously and flashing that gun shield is Kalakov. South pole left, cracked home by Horta Rodriguez. For the body with a straight left jab and a wicked right cross upstairs brings about a standing count, much to the annoyance of Porter. But he left his chin open as he was looking for his own offense, and it was picked off accurately by Abu Mali Halako. The crisp right cross. Now again, oh, there's a nice left hand from the South Pole wearing red that came behind the right jab. But just a reminder that in IBA boxing, Knockdown or indeed an eight count won't necessarily result in a ten eight round for the person who inflicted it. These four cards can be returned with the ten point muscles in IBA boxing. Ten nine for a close round, ten eight for a clear winner, ten seven for total domination. Now between the ten second clap and the percussive rhythm being pounded out on the drums here at the Kumo Arena. Difficult to tell which is which, but the 10-second clap has indeed sounded. And here's the bell to conclude the first round of action. A round where the man in blue found his range effectively in this battle between two skillful boxers. Here's an example of his counter-punching on the back foot, and that was the right cross. Landed flush on the chin, 
to bring about a standing count. So, I think the greater volume and solidity of shots landed from Halakov. Christian declared the victory in this round. No more to be able to change his tactics and, uh, and tempo. If he has indeed lost it, a near confirmation. 10-9 across the board in favour of the tournament number 16. Seconds out. Second round we go. Delavan points up. Seeded the opening round unanimously. He knows gloves around his temple now, bracketing his head with his hands effectively. And it was when his hand rather beat the defensive position in terms of protecting his chin that he was tipped off by a crisp right cross, which brought about a standing eight count. Rough house tactics being implemented by Kalakov. Side Horty, it might not be a strong suit, but again, Kalakov just 23 years of age, but you see him looking to impose his greater experience by really roughing up Horta on the inside, hitting him with forearms, hitting him with the heel of the glove, not averse to putting his head in there on occasion as well. And then when he gets back to punching range, it was a nice one-two combination. Where the up jab on the left hand was the lead shot of the cluster. of a boxer who's in control here, Polakov. Not averse to getting physical on the inside. And you see again, Porter waiting, waiting for the instruction of the referee to break. But body punching, an art in itself. And when you've got a fleet-footed mover like Polakov, well, dig the man downstairs a few times and that will test his conditioning and hopefully slow him down in the third and final round. But Porter not taking the opportunity to do that when he finds himself chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder with the man in blue. So then time is ticking by, and when the action resumes, he's doing a good job of scoring and looking in, keeping the impression. Look at that single left hand without reply, spinning off the line. One two combination to the one shot landed for Horta. So Horta finding the man very difficult to pin down and catch cleanly. And again, you see he's not taking the opportunity to dig away downstairs. You can see that he's a wonderful punch pickup. And now I think he's going to be Dr. Point for excessive holding. So he's really got it all to do here because a warning has been issued. Will it be both ways? No, it isn't both ways. I think for what it's worth, it's six of one and half a dozen of the other, but it's the man in red who has been penalized. So even in the event that he were to win this round, remember, it's a 10-point must system. So as the name suggests, oh, that's a low blow dug in with the left hand from the south port. Doubled over Halakov momentarily. But even if Porter to be judged the winner, it would be 10 minus 1. Now in IBA scoring, the deduction can either be taken into account at the conclusion of the round where it occurred or removed from the total scores at the end of the contest. So a very difficult three minutes for the man in red, Sidele Van Horta Rodriguez. For my money, it's just old man boxing vernacular out of that second frame because the man in blue did a better job of boxing on his own terms and in addition to I feel winning the round the man in red was hit with a warning so in the event that the warning is taken into a, the point deduction for the warning is taken into account in this round well, he's going to be trailing by a proverbial country mile so there are the scorecards then. Porter has taken it for judge number five. That gives us one scorecard of 19 points apiece. 2018 after two completed rounds for four of the five judges, which means that the deduction will be taken into account at the conclusion of the contest. Seconds out. presence of the vice president of the Uzbekistan Federation, Abdul Malik Halakov wearing blue. 
was in a really commanding position. He took the first round unanimously, the second on a 4-1 split. So the action resumes with 10 seconds or thereabouts having elapsed. So, side of the bad hole to Rodriguez, who knows that he is trading by 20 points to 18. There's a point deduction for warning for excessive holding in the second half to be taken into account as well. So he needs a massive final three minutes just to get back on parity. And even though. Uncle Malik Halakov is just 23 years of age. He's got that experience under his belt. And being crowned a world championship silver medalist is a beautiful right hand to the body, left hook to the chin of the advancing man in red. Wonderful punch picking from Halakov. But having had that experience on the global stage of boxing all the way through, winning four contests out of five to play 60 kilogram silver, he's bringing that experience to bear here front of his home fans and he gets edging ever closer to top spots on the medal roster and again there's a lot of spoiling taking place here and then you see when he does punch he's landing the more eye-catching work so that was three shots landed without reply and then look at that I'm not holding referee whereas in fact he is holding and preventing the man in red from working away so he perhaps skating on thin ice Palakov the referee from Tunisia has demonstrated that she's not hesitant in issuing a warning for excessive holding, but that is a veteran move from Kalakov, trying to demonstrate to the ref that he's not holding when he in fact is holding. And what his time out isn't called as a wonderful jab continues to jolt the head of Horta. So you see it's a burst of eye-catching action, then an entanglement, and it prevents Horta from working away, and all the while, He's just eating up the clock. This is a very clever display from Kalakov. Trip to the canvas, we'll see the gloves wiped clean. More seconds taken off the clock. So Horta has got to find the finishing blow here. Timeout has been called now. The head of Horta crashed into that. Abdul Malik Halakov, he spat out the mouthpiece. Quick instructions, which aren't supposed to be given when a boxer returns to get his mouthpiece rinsed and reinserted. But this is a very clever display. A veterans exhibition being produced. Borderline low blow with the right hand bolo shot from Kalakov. And he's celebrating now as we edge ever closer to the concluding bell, which we'll see Abdul Malik Kalakov playing world championship gold here at the Himalaya. He's managed the clock beautifully. He did his work in the first and second round. And then he's boxed on occasion, bound his man with tentacle-like arms for the majority of the round. But this display is going to be enough to see the gold medal procession of Uzbekistan continue here at the Humo Arena. And that is why Abdul Malik Halakov concluded the contest with a beaming grin because he knows that he's just performed a little bit of fistic al alchemy and turn the silver medal that he won in Belgrade 2021 into World Championship gold here on home soil. Celebrations abound over in that blue corner. It is mission accomplished for Abdul Malik Halakov. Bitter disappointment for Seidel Ivan Horta Rodriguez. And again, at just 21 years of age and in his first appearance at a World Championships, hopefully he will reflect in the weeks to come on what a magnificent achievement this is come away with a World Championship silver in his first appearance at an IBA Senior World Boxing Championship. And again, the contrast in body language is so instructive, particularly in boxing, but in all sports as well, because he knows that this hasn't been his day, but hopefully he can learn from the experience, grow from it, and come again. And we'll 
surely going to see him in the IBA World Championship stage in the future. Tears of joy and anticipation of the announcement being shared by Kalakov. Let's get the particulars from our MC Rishi Panikin. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship matchup in the men's featherweight division comes to a close after the main three three minute rounds. We go to the judges scorecards where all your judges see it the same way. Ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision. To the blue corner is Uzbekistan. There is the moment of confirmation, the moment of coronation for Abdul Malik Halakov of Uzbekistan. He has boxed his way to a brilliant 57 kilogram band featherweight world championship gold. Overcome with emotion. The man who claimed silver up at 60 kilogram lightweight in Belgrade in the previous edition at the back end of 2021 has gone one better, outpointing the immensely talented 21 year old Seidel Hevan Horta Rodriguez. He sportingly holds open the strands for Porter to exit the ring, but he will have a silver medal to place in his trophy cabinet and 100,000 US dollars. But jumping for joy with his customary somersault of celebration is Abdul Malik Kalakov. Fans being flooded in celebratory fashion in the Humo Arena because a home boxer, one of seven finalists contesting championship gold here in Uzbekistan has just claimed World Championship gold. Magnificent accomplishment. The king of the Asian continent becomes king of the world. And he's his magnificent recent run of success, and he's still only 23 years of age. First saw this man in 2018, when he had a quite simply awesome year at youth level taking continental golds. I commentated on him at the Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires. He then followed that up with world, and then he took world youth gold before that. So winning every youth title available to him in 2018. And what a transition he has made through to the senior ranks. A world championship silver, when making his world championship bow at senior level in 2021. And here, on home turf, 